Eyewitness weather forecast. Well, the radar is still busy right now. We've got rain and snow showers wrapping around the back side of the storm that brought us the majority of the snow earlier on today. And we're going to continue to see these showers through the night tonight. It's warm enough in the valley for some rain right now, but we've got a lot of snow falling as well. You can see that we're picking up in a couple of pockets of heavier snow moving through just north of Herkimer, another one uh, over Verona. And we're going to continue, like I said, to see these showers off and on through the night tonight. Very little additional snow accumulation expected, just a dust really, if anything. And here's the scene in West Merland earlier on today. Thank you to Christopher for sending this photo my way. Notice how much more snow is accumulated on the table than on the ground. It's about half on the ground because the ground is warmer and works to melt that snow a lot quicker. So depending on where you put the ruler, a lot of variation in the measurements today. It was about five inches in Utica in the valley, but in the higher hills, closer to a foot in the surrounding area. And you can see the tree down here in West Leiden. This is the scene all over the area today. We have trees down and lots of power knocked out. And even though we had some melting happening today, which allowed some of the tree limbs to bounce back up a little bit, we're still going to be dealing with high winds through the night tonight. We do have a wind advisory that remains in effect, and this is for these gusts up to 30, 40 miles an hour. So that could cause additional tree limbs to come down even as the snow is starting to melt. So overnight tonight, we've got occasional rain and snow off and on. It's going to be a windy one for us. Things start to wind down towards morning, but we could start to tomorrow with a few flurries on the cloudy side. But as we get th further through the morning and into the afternoon, beautiful sunshine for us there tomorrow. It'll be cold and windy, but the sun will be out really working to melt that snow very, very quickly. And we'll be watching any rivers and creeks start to rise. A flood threat minimal right now, but we'll keep a close eye on it. Here on Thursday, we've got clouds thickening up in the morning and a round of showers coming through. Good news is it doesn't look like a lot of rain, around a half of an inch of rain possible there on Thursday. We can't handle much more than that. So that's a good thing for us there. So tonight we're down to the low 30s. It's going to stay windy. We're dealing with rain and snow falling off and on. Maybe a few flurries to start the day tomorrow, but sunshine in the afternoon and mid 40s. We're going to see that snow rapidly melting tomorrow in the afternoon and evening. Overnight tomorrow night is a cold one, low 30s, but we managed the mid 50s on Thursday when we've got that round of showers coming through. 50s again Friday. That looks like a really nice day to end the week. Mostly sunny, still windy, yes, uh, on Friday, but the wind die down for us this weekend and the weekend trending warmer. We're close to 60 Saturday and almost 70 on Sunday. It does look like we'll hit the 70s Monday of next week before another round of showers moves through and cools us down a little bit, but it does look in general much more mild for us 